Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw an Easter egg. Let's make a new document. Go to File, New, set the width to 1280 and the height to 720 pixels. Click OK. Now go to View and make sure the Smart Guides are selected. Let's change the stroke color to None and the fill color to Yellow. Press the letter L for the Ellipse tool. Click on the artboard and holding the Shift and Alt keys on your keyboard, draw a circle. Now press the letter A to switch to the Direct Selection tool. Drag a box to select the top anchor point and press the up arrow key on your keyboard several times to form an egg shape. You can leave it as it is or you can modify the curves to make it less pointy. Select the anchor point on the side and move it closer to the center. And do the same with the other one. Now select the Convert Anchor Point tool, click on the top anchor point, hold, press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard and drag the mouse to adjust the curve. Let's make a copy. Press the letter V for the Selection tool, click on the shape and while holding the mouse press the Shift and Alt keys to make a copy. Move it to the right and then release the mouse. Now we will add several stripes to our egg. Select the Ellipse tool, click on the top anchor point, press and hold the Alt key and drag the mouse out. Let's make this ellipse a little wider than the width of the egg. Now press V for the selection tool, click on the ellipse and while holding the Shift and Alt keys move it down to make a copy, about right here. And press Ctrl D five times to make more copies. Now drag a box to select all the ellipses and we will delete some of the shapes we don't need. First go to Pathfinder and select Divide. Then select the Shape Builder tool and we will delete all the little parts. To do that press and hold the Alt key. Then click on the shape you want to delete. You can do it one by one or click on the artboard, hold and drag a line across the shapes you don't need. Now let's zoom in and let's delete those as well. Now let's move over to the other side, press and hold the space bar, then click and drag to pan across the artboard. Zoom in, press the Shift and M keys to select the Shape Builder tool. Now press and hold the Alt key and drag a line across the shapes you want to delete. Press Ctrl 0 to see the whole page. Now we will connect some of the shapes together to make even stripes. Click on the top shape, hold and drag down to connect these two shapes. Now these two and so on until you get to the bottom. Next press the letter A for the Direct Selection tool and drag a box to select the whole egg. Next we will add a color to our stripes. Click on the Swatch Libraries menu icon. Go to Color Books and select Pantone plus Pastels and Neons Coated. Now click on the color 
to add it to our swatches window. Let's add some more colors. Just click on the ones you like. And close this window. Select the Shape Builder tool again. And now we will color our egg. First, select the color. And then click on the shape. And again, select another color and click on the shape. And again. Now we will add a curved edge to some of these parts. Let's zoom in on these two pink stripes. Go to the Direct Selection tool and click on the top part. Now we will create a curvy edge. Select the Add Anchor Point tool and we will add six additional anchor points to the bottom edge. Three on this side. And three on the other side. Try to space them equally. Now go to the Direct Selection tool and select every other anchor point. Click on this one. Next, press and hold the Shift key and select every other point. Then release the mouse. Next, press the up arrow key on your keyboard several times to get a curvy edge. Let's do the same with the other stripe, but this time add anchor points to the top edge. One here, next here, another one here. This one is already there, so leave it alone. One more here, here, and another one. And again, select every other anchor point. But this time use the down arrow key. Now we will add color to the white part by moving the yellow egg behind the colored one. First, let's duplicate the yellow egg Click on it to select it, press Ctrl-C to copy and Ctrl-F to paste in front. Now, holding the Shift key, move the yellow egg behind the colored one. Select both of them and let's align them to the center. Go to the Align panel and select Horizontal Align Center. Now, using the symbols, we will add some flowers to the green stripe. To do that, go to Window and select Symbols. Click on the Symbol Libraries menu icon and select Flowers. Let's close this window and move this one over here. Now select one of the symbols, click on it, hold and drag it on the green stripe. Then press and hold the Shift and Alt keys and drag it to make a copy. Now we'll add two more flowers between these two and space them equally. To do that go to Object Select Blend and Blend Options. Choose Specified Steps and type 2. Click OK. Now go to Object again, select Blend and choose Make. Let's add a curve to it. Go to Effect, Warp and choose Arc. And set the blend to negative 11. Click OK. Let's move it up a bit. 
Now we'll add some dots to the pink part. Let's change the fill color to yellow. Select the ellipse tool and draw a small circle. And repeat the process like we did with the flowers. Duplicate the circle. Go to Object, select Blend, Blend Options, Specified Steps, but this time set it to 3. And click OK. Go to Object again, select Blend and Make. Next go to Effect, Warp and Arc. And set it to negative 10. Click OK. Another way to decorate your egg is to Add a ready pattern to it. Select the egg on the right, click on it. Now click on the Swatch Libraries menu icon, go to Patterns, Decorative and Vanstand Patterns. Now simple click on one that you like. Thanks for watching, bye bye.